Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. The lunar eclipse is when the earth is situated between the moon and the sun, making the earth block out the sun's rays which would be shining on the moon, creating a shadow and darkening it. This phenomenon allows us to see the moon in a reddish color, almost as if it were bleeding. Lunar eclipses are quite frequent and can be seen from any part of the world at night time. They last various hours and can be of different types, though the most frequent ones are the partial lunar eclipse and the total lunar eclipse. When there is an eclipse, and it looks as if someone has taken a bite out of the moon, it is a partial lunar eclipse. And when there is an eclipse and one can see the whole moon, it is a total eclipse. Easy, don't you think? By the way, to observe a lunar eclipse, one doesn't need anything special. A normal telescope or binoculars would do. Well, now we know a little more about eclipses. Don't you think it's fascinating learning new things? Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends, welcome to a new video from Happy Learning. Today we are going to learn about the moon. The moon is the only satellite that rotates around our planet and it takes 28 days to completely go around the Earth. But do we know what a satellite is? A natural satellite is any kind of celestial body that rotates, or actually, orbits around the planet. The moon is never still. It moves in two ways. It has a movement of rotation, and a movement of translation, that is to say, it rotates around the Earth. The duration of the movement of rotation and translation is 28 days, because it takes the same amount to rotate on its own axis and to completely go around the Earth, the Moon always shows us the same face. When we observe the Moon along a period of time, it appears to change shape. These changes in appearance are called lunar phases and they repeat every 28 days. There are four. Full moon, first quarter, new moon and last quarter. The moon phases are produced by two reasons. The movement of the moon around the earth and because the moon reflects light from the sun as a mirror. New moon. In this phase, the moon is passing between the Earth and the Sun. The illuminated face of the moon is facing the opposite direction to Earth. The dark side ends up facing the Earth, and this is why we cannot see the moon. First quarter. You can see approximately one week after the new moon. One half of the illuminated side faces the Earth. It is called the first quarter because from the new moon phase, the zone illuminated by the sun grows every time. Full moon. Approximately a week after the first quarter, we can see the whole moon illuminated. The earth is between the moon and the sun, and we can see it fully. Last quarter. The moon presents its other half phase illuminated. The name from the last quarter comes from the fact that the illuminated side becomes smaller and smaller each time. A very easy trick to know whether the moon is in its first or last quarter is the following. If the moon has the shape of a C, it is in the last quarter. And if it has the shape of a D, it is in the first quarter. So now you know, the moon has four faces. New moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. Now we are going to learn a few facts about the moon. Do you know the distance between the moon and the earth? 
Although it looks as it's not very far away, the Moon is about 385,000 kilometers from the Earth. Another very interesting fact is that a rocket takes three days to get to the Moon. It's incredible, isn't it? The first astronaut that stepped on the Moon was Neil Armstrong. And this very important accomplishment occurred in the year 1969 aboard on the Apollo 11 rocket. The Moon is four times smaller than the Earth, which is very important for the sustainability of life in our planet. The Moon generates tides. Do you know what a tide is? A tide is the rise and fall of the sea level. They occur every six hours approximately. Well, now you know a little bit more about the moon. Very interesting, right? Bye, friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the Happy Learning channel. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends, and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about eclipses. There are two types of eclipses, a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. But first, do you know what an eclipse is? An eclipse occurs when an astronomical object is temporarily obscured. Sometimes the Earth is placed between the Sun and the Moon. And other times, the Moon is situated between the Earth and the Sun. These are eclipses. But let's investigate it better. The lunar eclipse is when the Earth is situated between the Moon and the Sun, making the Earth block out the Sun's rays, which would be shining on the Moon, creating a shadow and darkening it. This phenomenon allows us to see the Moon in a reddish color, almost as if it were bleeding. Lunar eclipses are quite frequent and can be seen from any part of the world at nighttime. They last various hours and can be of different types, though the most frequent ones are the partial lunar eclipse and the total lunar eclipse. When there is an eclipse and it looks as if someone has taken a bite out of the moon, it is a partial lunar eclipse. And when there is an eclipse and one can see the whole moon, it is a total eclipse. Easy, don't you think? By the way, to observe a lunar eclipse, one doesn't need anything special. A normal telescope or binoculars would do. Solar eclipses only occur when there's a new moon, and it is seen when the moon is between the Earth and the Sun. The moon hides all the Sun's light, or at least part of it. Solar eclipses can be of different types. Total, partial, or annular. A total solar eclipse is when the moon hides all of the sun's light and the sun's face disappears behind the moon. In the middle of the day, it would seem as if night has fallen. The sky darkens and stars appear. Many animals think it's nighttime and go to sleep. And nocturnal animals, such as this owl, begin their day, actually their night not understanding that in a short time the sun will reappear. Partial solar eclipses occur when the moon comes between the earth and the sun, but not completely, leaving part of the sun visible. The day becomes slightly darker and the sun resembles a cookie with a chunk missing. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon hides only the middle of the sun. It is seen as a black circle surrounding a bright ring. It looks like a ring, doesn't it? By the way, and this is really important, it is very dangerous to observe solar eclipses without any special eye protection. Please remember this, as it is extremely harmful. Well, now we know a little more about eclipses. Don't you think it's fascinating learning new things? Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us.
and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.